Hi, this is TK Viper taking another look at the iPad Air. Now I'm going to compare it next to the iPad 4th generation. As you can see, the bezels are a lot thinner, about 50% thinner. And that makes the screen appear a little bit larger. And the height is about the same. The width, uh, we're talking about about an inch off the original iPad. Or like three quarters of an inch. And the thickness, as you can see from this angle, it's a lot thinner. Uh, exactly 20% thinner, I think. And you can see that. It's extremely thin. It's as thin as the iPad Mini uh, 2 that's going to come out later this month at 7.5 millimeters. iPad 4 is 9.7 millimeters. To give you a better idea of how much narrower the iPad Air is, we're going to stack it on top of the iPad 4. And you can see that on the right side, it's about 3 quarters of an inch narrower. As for the height, the difference is barely noticeable, maybe 2 or 3 millimeters shorter, and that's it. The biggest difference you're going to feel is the weight. If you hold the iPad 4 like this, it feels like it's going to snap in half, or it's going to start bending. The iPad Air, it feels very safe, very stable holding it like this by the corners. It really is light at 1 pound versus 1.44 pounds. The last thing I'm going to do is test the speed of the iPad Air. I'm going to compare it to the iPhone 5S. They both have the A7 chip, both 64-bit architecture. iPad Air is rumored to have a faster processor at 1.4 GHz as opposed to the 1.3 GHz found in the iPhone 5S. I'm going to use iMovie to test their speeds, but keep in mind the iPad Air's iMovie is the older version which is not optimized for the 64-bit CPU. So here we go, let's start. We're rendering a movie that is 2 minutes and 50 seconds long, and within seconds you'll see that the iPhone 5S is outpacing the iPad Air. And even though the iMovie version on the iPad Air is older, it doesn't really trail behind too far, maybe just a couple of seconds behind the iPhone 5S. And we're almost done on the iPhone 5S. And in 45 seconds, it's finished rendering. And it takes about another 6 seconds to export it into camera roll. On the iPad, it took 49 seconds to render and 55 seconds to save it. And there you have it. Both very fast, this time the iPhone 5S won, but next time hopefully I can get a better comparison with the same version of iMovie. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and come visit me at tkviper.com. I'll catch you guys next time.